Throughout history, mankind has been obsessed with the idea of living forever. Take, for example, Chen Chu Wang, the first emperor to unite Greater China. During his rule, about 250 BC, he started work on what would become the Great Wall of China. But Emperor Wan was also obsessed with eternity. He dispatched entire armies to search for the fabled elixir of life, a magical drink that would allow him to live forever. Fearing they'd be punished if they came back empty-handed, most of these soldiers never returned. Because of his obsession with eternity, the emperor also began working on his burial city when only 13 years old. He filled vast underground caverns around his tomb with a replica of his court, believing that somehow they'd come to life in the next world. Archaeologists found more than 8,000 life-size terracotta statues of musicians, troops of acrobats, strongmen, soldiers, and horses to guard his gravesite. No two are the same. It's believed to have taken around 700,000 workers approximately 38 years to complete this wonder. Tragically, Chin Chu Wan died when only 49 years of age, evidently by mercury poisoning. He drank a bizarre lethal cocktail his doctors gave him to supposedly help him live longer. Many others through history have looked for this elusive living water. Alexander the Great was said to have come across a healing river of paradise in the fourth century BC. Others have gone on epic quests, vainly searching for the Holy Grail, a mythical chalice from the Last Supper that would purportedly give eternal life to whoever could drink water from it. Spanish navigator Juan Ponce de Leon, he heard from natives in Puerto Rico that there was an island called Bimini that had a fountain of youth. Today, scientists are taking a more pragmatic approach, experimenting with stem cells and genetic engineering, all in a concerted effort to slow, stop, or maybe even reverse the aging process. Let's face it, we're all pre-programmed for self-preservation. People want to survive and live. So wouldn't you be interested if I told you about a viable way that you could increase your lifespan, not by 20 or 30 years, but forever? Did you know the Bible actually does talk about this secret fountain of youth? That's right. Jesus said, whoever drinks the water of life that I will give him will never thirst, but the water that I will give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. In fact, the Bible ends by inviting people to drink from this living water. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. And let who is a thirst come. And whoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Well, friend, it's real. And the Bible teaches that God deeply wants to give you this gift of everlasting life. But you might be thinking, there has to be a catch. How exactly do you receive this free gift? In the next few moments, I'm going to share with you five practical steps that you can take that will place the keys of eternal life within your reach. What you do with them is up to you. First, we must recognize there's obviously a problem. Death, disease, terrorism, pain, none of this was God's original plan. In the world around us, we can see a spiritual battle is raging between light and darkness, good and evil, right and wrong. It all began eons ago, when the highest of God's creations, a beautiful and powerful angel named Lucifer, now better known as Satan, became inflamed with jealousy. He resented that he could not have all of the power of God. That's when, following a lengthy and slanderous campaign, Lucifer led one-third of the angels of God in an all-out rebellion against their creator. Satan next deceived the first humans into disbelieving and disobeying God, so they unwittingly surrendered the dominion of this world to the devil. Our beautiful planet was hijacked by an evil fiend and his forces that filled the world with their spirit of sin and selfishness. But God sent his son into the world as a human to guide, to rescue, and ultimately to redeem those that would trust in him. We're all sinners for we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. It's true of you, it's true of me. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord laid upon him, Jesus, the iniquity of us all. 
Whether it's lying or stealing or evil thoughts, we have all broken the golden rule, God's law of love, better known as the Ten Commandments. The principles of God's law are meant to protect us and to ensure a life of peace and safety. The Bible reveals that the penalty for sin, breaking God's law, is death, because sin naturally separates us from the one who gives life. Are there unkind words that you've spoken or actions that you've taken in your life that have hurt others or even yourself? God is asking you to acknowledge that you're a sinner so that you can take the next step. The second step to eternity is to believe you can, in fact, be saved. And that's the good news of salvation. A Roman jailer once asked the Apostle Paul, what must I do to be saved? Paul answered, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. To believe in Christ means to believe in who he is, the Son of God and Savior of the world, and to trust him with your life. Unlike you or I, Jesus lived a perfect sinless life. By faith, he never broke a commandment of God. He now offers to take your sinful record in exchange for his perfect life. He literally died in your place so that you can live forever in a paradise without sin. Jesus suffered in your place for your sin so you can be forgiven. You must accept this by faith. He that believes in the Son has everlasting life. Isn't that simple? Will you believe this message of hope that Jesus is offering you right now? The third step in receiving the gift of salvation is to confess and repent of your sins. Tell God you're sorry. The Bible says, he that covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Jesus also said, unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. To repent means to make a determined choice to turn away from the self-destructive lifestyle of sin and to trust that God will help you do it. It means to honor God's commandments in your mind, in your heart, and in your actions. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. A person who repents is genuinely sorry for sinning and they turn their hearts towards God. The Lord then promises to give them the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. He'll place within you a new heart and a new mind. Now God does not expect you to remember and confess every sin you've ever committed. Just humbly come to Him in the name of Jesus and willingly confess you've broken His laws. There may be some specific things the Holy Spirit will bring to your attention. Tell Him you're sorry. Ask Him to wash away your sins. When you do, the Bible says you can have complete assurance that He will fully forgive you. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Will you please open your heart now to the Lord, confess your sins, and then believe He has forgiven you. Eternal life, you're almost there. The fourth step to eternity is to willingly receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Christ said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him, and he with me. You receive Christ by audibly praying and inviting him into your heart. This is God's amazing gift to you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him might not perish, but have everlasting life. But receiving Christ also means more. It means trusting in his instruction and guiding influence in your life and actions. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Will you now receive Jesus into your life and give him permission to abide in you? Now is the best time. Will you ask him? Sincerely pray this simple prayer and then review the steps that we just covered. Dear God, I know that I've broken your laws and my sins have separated me from you. I believe that your son Jesus died for my sins and was resurrected from the dead and is alive in heaven and hears my prayers. I am truly sorry for my past sins and I now want to turn to you and turn away from sin. Please forgive me 
and help me to walk in a new life. I invite Jesus to become the Lord of my life, to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. And I pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. The fifth step to eternity is to now confess Jesus as your Lord. Eternal life is more than just receiving. It's also about giving. To keep your faith, you need to share it with others by word and example. The Bible tells us, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. He then says, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. To confess Jesus as your Lord means to choose to follow him every day. Christ said, whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. Friend, remember, following Jesus is an ongoing walk, a love relationship. If you stumble and fall along the way, don't be discouraged. He's promised, I will never leave you or forsake you, just get up. God wants to set you free from the burden of guilt and sin in your life. God loves you so much, he sent Jesus, who willingly took the wages of your sins upon himself. Christ died so you can live, live forever. Let him free you from sin now and experience a real and lasting peace. So I'd like to offer you a free gift to strengthen you in your new relationship with Jesus. To receive your free gift and discover more about walking with Jesus, call us today and ask for offer number 102. Thank you so much for watching. And now, share this gift of everlasting life with others by passing on this video.